Hi guys, George from Cypress Insights and today we're in Limassol at the old port which looks quite new actually but it is actually the old port look at these beautiful fountains there's the old warehouses at the back but my first port of call is this boardwalk here it looks like we've got a pier going out look straight ahead so that's my first port of call we have parked in this car park on our left and that's the main road that Limassol goes along the seafront and there's car parks all the way up three hours for two euros it was look a bubble place what's that do then so bubble stuff bubble stuff guys never oh someone stolen the bubble who's stolen the bubble that man over there get the police that man over there stolen a bubble drink there's some lovely ice cream lock oh look that looks delicious doesn't it guys right, let's go on to the pier shall we that alarm's still going off guys i'm sure that man must have stolen one of those bubble drinks i don't think he has actually guys i think he's trying to get into the apartment block behind us now look at this lovely old pier and this beautiful old planks now there is a commercial port round here and i do believe it's down there on the right beyond the new marina so you can see the ships straight ahead and there was a lot of cruise ships here last year and through covid i think they've all gone actually there's about at least six to eight big cruise ships all anchored around this area here through covid we've got some sailing yachts straight ahead and look at this look there's the old stilts or supports for god knows what was there maybe another pier and then on top they've built these new restaurants all conveniently located bench let's have a look at this sea see how clear it is well for a big city that sea is very clear isn't it Look, you can see the bottom. See another pier down there, and then one beyond that. Let's go to the end. Now I wonder if it extended out or this was it. Let's go and have a look. You can see the new marina and the new marina wall just on the right. Let's have a look, shall we? Well, there's some steps going down oh there's somewhere to park your boat look at this this is nice isn't it look at this oh, and you can step into the sea if you want some steps down there you can actually go swimming here and we go there's some steps over there and some down there conveniently located bench we'll try that there it is here let's just sit here for a nice breeze today oh look at those new apartment blocks going up in a row down there some are finished luxury apartment blocks just down here as well yeah i do believe that was the end of the pier so it's uh, about 24 degrees there's a nice breeze though keeps you cool it's the 10th of march 
and as I said 24 degrees it's a beach day really today but we're wandering around Limassol have a look see what there is in this old port now we'll go down and see the warehouses at the back it looks like they've been converted into restaurants they've replaced some of these beams on this board walk look there's the old ones look at them oh they're lovely aren't they I'd like to take one at a moment be a nice feature in a house there's one there and one over there right ice cream shop there two euros a scoop i was tempted but uh, i'll wait too later tonight we'll be going out at that uh, seafront road somewhere down there we'll be eating guys so look out for the video here we are so we've got a, quite a new area here look there's the old warehouses at the back new buildings here with some uh, very up-to-date restaurants and cafes look at that I'm not sure what's at the top our oh, offices there's a load of offices up there yet another ice cream shop they're all great for the kids over there and this very trendy restaurant here within these old warehouses right which way we're we gonna go guys should we go and have a look at the boats let's go down there and have a look at the boats shall we and we'll go up the top have a look at some of these beautiful boats there's a lovely old catamaran looks like right at the end i wonder if it's a fishing catamaran or is it two boats no, i think it's a catamaran guys right at the end the bell blue one let's go down oh look there's a walk up here can you see it elevated boardwalk taking you up towards those restaurants that we saw on the other side let's just go towards the sea and I could show you look that's where we were on that pier straight ahead and I mentioned the old supports here probably an old pier and the restaurants and there's a restaurant and the elevated boardwalk above me well you can rent some of these boats look private charters that's an old little sailing boat look for sale yeah i'm not too sure about that old thing guys now we're coming up to the fishing boats the traditional old fishing boats and quite a lot of the old fishing boats have been decommissioned in cyprus and obviously making room now for those new yachts and sailing yachts look that's the first restaurant on my left the steakhouse and then there's this other bar look an open bar what's this on my right oh more traditional fishing boats these are quite big for cyprus don't normally get them this big but there's quite a few big ones that's the normal size these ones are massive yeah really big right let's go round i want to see that catamaran Now I'm not talking about that catamaran there, that's obviously for some sort of uh, 
cruises that you could go on just beyond that yes we have got some conveniently located large sort of pebbles you can sit on them we'll carry on down here we are look at this big cruise boat it's got Cyprus boat parties www.relaxstrokecruises.net Now this is what I thought was a catamaran. No guys, I was totally wrong. It's actually three old ships in a row. I think they're fishing boats or ships. Yeah, they are. Look at that. Oh wow, look at this guys. I think uh, definitely not being used anymore. Could be wrong. Have a look at the back. I don't think this is being used anymore, do you guys? Windows are smashed in. Still got nets on the back. Now all the cabins been ripped out. Should we go and explore? Right, let's go and explore, shall we? Let's get on this old boat, this old fishing boat, massive. Look at this. Still got hundreds of nets here on the front. Oh, all just been dumped in the front there yet another one next door same again abandoned look at that old ghost ships let's go um we could even go on to the next one and then on top to the next one right let's go around here shall we Oh, mind what you're treading. Oh, mind yourself. There we are, up the top, over these massive ropes. Up we go. Oh, we might be able to get inside. Let's go around here, shall we? Oh, what's in here? Look. Oh, let's go inside. In we go. There, in the cabin. Old kitchen, what's that? Rudder position. Look at that. Look at that. The old electrics. Let's see if we can get into the wheelhouse, shall we? There's uh, the cabins under there. Let's go up. Is this the wheelhouse? Yeah, here we are up to the wheelhouse some old radars there the wheel's gone these are the controls they're all in Greek what's all this about oh, more controls here what's this at the back Oh, little captain's cabin right at the back. Wow, most impressive. Out we go. There we are. There's the engine room down there. A bit dark. Let's see if we can get onto the next ship. The next ghost ship. There it is, parked up right next to us. And then there's another one just beyond that. That's a bit newer, that one. Well, we'll go on to the next one if we can and explore these are definitely been decommissioned and why are they here why are they still here guys should have been scrapped by now surely all right let's see if we can get down there we go There's the engine, big old diesel engine. Let's 
go to the front this one's a bit more tidy than the previous one next to us look at these buckets full of hooks look at these hooks all the way around these buckets that one's got a little life bolt on it let's go underneath the rope now we're on the other side and we can see the engine room again it's quite a modern looking engine and there's yet another old ship look here partly abandoned definitely not used right the lifeboats on board here's the lifeboat wow right let's make our way back guys let's get out of these uh, haunted ships off we go well i didn't expect that guys the old gold ships Let me show you the front and this is what I thought was a catamaran right from distance not the white one obviously there there's the three gold ships I've just been on so now we're back at the square this lovely square there we've come from over here and we're gonna go left Oh, Hagen Das ice cream. There's lots of ice cream shops around here, isn't it? This is a lovely place. Lots and lots of ice cream shops. This one's got a little place you can have a ice cream and uh, a coffee outside. Some more beautiful fountains. What's over there? Should we go and have a quick look? Look at that. Oh, it's another coffee shop round the back. Round the back of these beautiful gardens. And some more trendy coffee shops. A pizzeria, I think. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, there's this place here. It's a bar. Yeah, a bar that does food. There we are. Very vogue. Very in vogue. Ah, oh, it looks like we've got a, a tour here. A little private tour, let's go around them. Oh, look at this, look. You can rent this boat, five persons per hour, 100 euros for this schooner. There's two of them. Look, I'll show you. Look, they're identical. Look at these two here. Yeah. They're, they're lovely boats, aren't they? Well, we've got an Italian restaurant. And this Mese place, guys. Now, we have eaten here quite a few years ago. And it was very delish. Here it is. This place here. I think they've got a top floor now. Not up the top. Where you can overlook this beautiful harbour. Oh, what's that over there? There's hundreds of boats. So that's a Mese place. 21 euros for a Mese there. Or 15 euros for the vegetarian Mese. What's that on my left? More fishing boats, I think. <laughs> yeah, more traditional fishing boats. We have got a warehouse straight ahead, but that's not an old warehouse. And look at those luxury apartments. Right guys, I'm gonna go round here where this uh, little shop is. Now you can see the new marina on my right, just next to the old harbour. 
and they've got a little coffee shop here look oh it's a convenience store as well now oh, we've got more of these traditional fishing boats and uh, one of my friends has got one of these now what does it look like uh, it's not one like that guys because it hasn't got a cabin it's just open you can look out for the video he had trouble starting it so we got an old VW Golf starter motor and adapted it and the thing started he has promised me to go out fishing sometime but uh, too busy at the moment right so there's the end and there's the light house or light post I should think where you can come in you come into the old harbour this way although it's the old harbour it's got these amazing new restaurants very cosmopolitan isn't it guys and then to get into the new marina you go through and the new marina's down there what a beautiful place definitely a lovely place to visit and have a slow beer I think I definitely enjoyed that little stroll around this beautiful fishing harbour don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below